The Best Two Virtual Expo, Day 3, London, here, and we're very excited, very excited, because we're going to end with a bang. Yes, you can't get better than this. We've been very excited about this all weekend. I already mentioned to you that uh, we had the honour of having the amazing Lisa Nichols um, share, basically, some phenomenal wisdom at our last Virtual Expo, and she's here now, virtually, in London, too. So I'm going to read a bio quickly, I'm going to bring her in, and then... We'll play her talk, and then she's going to be at the end to ask us some questions. So please make sure that you engage with us. Lisa Nichols is one of the world's most requested motivational speakers, as well as a media personality and corporate CEO whose global platform has reached nearly 80 million people. From a struggling single mum on public assistance to a millionaire entrepreneur, Lisa's courage and determination has inspired worldwide and helped countless audiences break through to discover their own untapped talents and infinite potential. As founder of Chief Executive and the Chief Executive Officer of Motivating the Masses, Inc., Lisa has developed workshops and programs that have transformed the lives of countless of men and women and altered the trajectory of businesses throughout the country and across the world. Lisa is also a best-selling author of six books, and her seventh book, Abundance Now, was published in 2016 by HarperCollins. In Abundance Now, Lisa continues her journey with her fans, providing a clear and practical blueprint for personal success, drawn directly from the life experiences of her, of its beloved author. Abundance Now is the follow-up of Lisa's New York Times bestseller, No Matter What. So I'm going to bring Lisa in. I'm just going to say hi quickly to, hey, there she is. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> So lovely to see you again. I'm so happy to be with you as well. Excited to be here so, so we can do this magic again. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, as I said, I'm honored. We, we've been so excited to have you here. And uh, look, I can't wait. I, I can't wait to ask you a couple of questions. You gave us some real great golden nuggets last <laughs> time. We got some great stuff. So yes, Lisa, we did. thank you so much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you for putting this event on because it even reminds us the teachers. It reminds us, the givers, to receive. Um, so I, 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 I'm grateful for the conversation. Well, thank you, you know, Lisa. And and I think you know, at the end of the day, ultimately, we we're obviously very passionate. You with sharing what you share and 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 inspiring and helping others. And look, what we do is is, is provide a platform. I think now, if anything, obviously, 2021. A lot, of, a lot of things have sunk in now, you know, 2020 is, oh, yeah, well, you know, but 2021 looks very long still, you know. <laughs> yes, yes. It looks very long, so kind of like, you know, for those procrastinators or those that are still still holding back, I really see 2021 as, as, as the opportunity now to really ignite people's derriers, you know, as the French call it, yeah, to yeah, yeah. start, you know, something amazing this yeah. year. Yeah. Because I am so excited about the future, 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you and me both. Um, this is, a, this is a, a season of reset. Mm -hmm. This is a season of relaunch or launch. This is a season where you get to tap into what, what do you have in you and determination and resiliency. This is definitely that season. Um, it is, um, if you want it, uh, and, and I'm not, I'm not minimizing what any of us are going through. I'm not trying to Pollyanna it and act as if it doesn't exist. Um, we are in a real opportunity to confirm what we're made of. I didn't say see, confirm what we're made of. I think the number one thing that I realized was that I didn't want to get to the end of my life and realized that I had everything in me I needed to live an amazing life, and I didn't. <laughs> I don't want to get to the end of my journey and realize, oh, my God, you mean I had it? You mean I came fully loaded? I had what I, what it, I thought I didn't have it. This is that season where, for the first time, we all are more connected than ever. When I, when I travel the world and people say, stay safe, I'm praying for you. Like there's a calibrator that's occurred here. Unfortunate, but don't discount the gift that may have come wrapped in sandpaper. Hmm. There is a gift here that definitely came wrapped into in some traumatic sandpaper, but don't minimize the gift, the gift of reset, relaunch, re-energize, recommit, rejuvenate, all the things that come with needing to be set down, 
time, stillness time, time to reflect. All of a sudden, you're focused on what's really important. This is a this is a unique season. And I believe that our best memories are based on what we choose to do in the next 24 months. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm very, very excited about the future. And, and you know, kind of like all of us, you know, I, we've I've lost friends and, yeah, and, um, you know, I lost my mom last year. It was a tough year. It was a tough year for, yeah. for for many, many people. But, you know, kind of for us and and, and, and I think in general, I, I think it really is a time to to really ignite, you know, and, and, and move forward. Now, I know some well, your book talks about abundance and, and, and you, you again, a lot of people struggling and I understand and appreciate it. But I think on the other hand, there's a lot of people that are thriving. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of people that are just like flourishing now. Yeah. And I believe that this is a time, you know, of abundance. It's a time, you know, to to economize, to to review what we were spending money on and maybe start exploring at new opportunities. I yeah. see so much abundance. Share a little bit about your thoughts on abundance, obviously. Um, I, I believe that abundance isn't given. Abundance is created, number one. So if you're waiting on abundance to show up in the mail, and I know I'm the teacher, I'm the, the, the secret teacher where checks show up in the mail, but you have to be creative enough to do what requires a check to show up in the mail or in your inbox or on your card. So I believe that this is a season of creation. This is a season where the rules that you may have thought didn't work in your favor are all out the window. <laughs> so if you can create something, what would you create? If necessity required you to create another revenue stream, this is now. What the beauty is, the tenacity, the perseverance, the determination and the creativity that you must come up with now to navigate gets to stay with you on the other side of this experience. So great things are created out of great need. What great things are you creating? Like this is that time. Um, I believe that we are in a season of opportunity. It's a duality. It's a season of navigation, navigate through this season, be safe, be aware, be smart, be caught, all that. But don't forget to be creative, be ambitious, be determined. One doesn't discount the other. Well, I'm going to be safe and just wait for it to be over. Please don't do that. Mm. Please be safe and create while we're in it because this is our new norm and we'll create another new norm. And so don't wait. Everyone's like, I'm going to wait till this is over. You're waiting for what? You're living now. Yes, there's a there's a beautiful duality happening. There's a duality of something we've never experienced before. And then there's the duality, the realness of you get to do something you've never done before. What is that? Who do you choose to be? If all bets are off and everything's anew, what if you press restart, who would you become? What would you do? Is this the time to write the book? Is this the time to trust that you want to get paid for what you know versus what you do? Is this the time for you to lean into I, my sister-in-law? My soon-to-be sister-in-law, I'm getting married this year. Um, my sister-in-law is an ER doctor, and she's been an ER doctor forever, but she's also a baker. Her creative side is she makes amazing cakes. She calls herself the cake doctor. It's her side thing. And this season has led her to believe, she goes, I think I want to lean into my creative. So this doctor, probably in the next 24 months, will become just the cake doctor. You know, she'll go from the ER to the baking. And so this is that season where you get to assess who am I? If I if I'm living my wildest dreams, would this be my dream? And if this isn't my dream, what is my dream? And if you don't know what your dream is, it's probably because you haven't given yourself permission to dream recently. How about, how about this season has shaken you up enough to dream again? to redream. And even if you had a dream and that dream came true, like mine, my dream came true. I made my dream come true. It still is a season to redream. If you had a dream and it got altered, it got detoured because of marriage or children or divorce or family, redream. This is the season of redream. And and everything around us is showing us that the stillness, the stay at home orders, the the be cautious and safe for yourself. Health is wealth. Right. And the spaciousness to say, who do you want to design yourself to be? Life isn't happening to you. Life mm -hmm. is happening around you. And you are you remember that you are not the thermometer. A thermometer steps in the room 
It checks the temperature of the room and a thermometer adjusts its temperature to match the room. Most people walk around like that, Bernardo. They walk around as a thermometer. I'm inviting you to walk around as a thermostat. You know your temperature. You set your temperature before you left your home, before you left the bathroom, you set the temperature. And you walk around and allow the world to experience your temperature. Whatever it is, a temperature of possibility, joy, whatever it is. Well, my thermostat says you're hot and you're great. <laughs> That's what my thermostat says. Lisa, one of the things I think, and obviously, you know, you've done this for a few years. And you've obviously must have had a lot of coaches, a lot of mentors, a lot of people that have inspired you along your journey. One of the things that I, I um, it frustrates me as, as a promoter sometimes, you know, we, we put big events together and obviously it's different now, the virtual world than, than the live events were. But I was putting a post the other day and I said, and I, and I wrote down, you know, hey, we got this lineup, come and join us. Don't, as they call it in English, it's, don't be a know-it-all, you know, don't, don't be one of those that knows it all because... Right. When I think, well, we're bringing you like 80, 90 speakers and there's so much knowledge and so much wisdom. And then half the people, quarter of the people don't show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I think, you know, the challenge is that a lot of people are wanting to do it alone. They're yeah. wanting to do it alone. They're not asking for help. They're not learning from the people. They're not, they're not asking for coaching. They're not getting the mentors. And right. for me, it's mind boggling because I am permanently learning. Right. Anything right. and everything I can put my hands on, I need to read, I need to learn new things. That fascinates me or shocks me, surprises me, disappoints me. Well, what about you? Well, you know, I wrote in my book, uh, Abundance Now, and, and I teach it in my, my Abundant Life program in great depth, that I became a better woman, a better CEO, and a better leader. The more I acknowledged, the less I knew. <laughs> I know that sounds that, that sounds crazy, but the more I acknowledge, the less I knew, the better I became at leading, the better I became at managing six figure, seven figure, eight figure, nine figure realities in my life because I opened the door to see what was in my blind spot. You can only take yourself as far as you can take yourself. That, mm. That's it. You can never take yourself further than what, where you can go, what you know. I seek out people. You should seek out people who are 10 to 20 steps ahead of you, not even five steps. You want someone who's 10 to 20 to 30 steps ahead of you because when you do what they recommend you do, what they coach you, you don't want to catch them anytime soon. The smartest thing I did was to get someone who was 10 to 20 steps ahead of me. And here's the, here's the key part. I'm not an information junkie. I don't just collect information. So many people and raise your hand, type your name in chat. If you know you're an information junkie, you love information. I'm an implementation junkie. Hmm. I want to, I'd rather get smaller bite sizes of information and implement it. Then go get another small bite size and implement it. On my campus, I have this thing called active learning time. So I don't give you a lot of content. I give you a little content and say, implement that and come back. Implement that and come back so that action, you realize Joan Baez says action is the antidote for despair. And Lisa Nichols adds action is the prescription for success. If you want what you don't have, you need to do what you haven't done. In order for you to do what you haven't done, you need to know what you don't even know yet. <laughs> I, and man, when I keep saying that to myself, no matter where I get to in my career, seven bestsellers, global business, I don't care. If I want to get what I don't have yet, I have to do what I haven't done yet. And if I'm going to do what I haven't done yet, it's based on what I don't know yet. OK, so go get go learn what you don't know so you can do what you haven't done so you can get what you say you want. It's a it's a basic math to me. I mean, it's so formulaic that your actions are dependent on what you know. What you know has gotten you here. Congratulations. If you want to go any further, you got to go learn what you don't know. So I tell people that if I am a good teacher, it's because I am a phenomenal, phenomenal student. I'm a dutiful student. You coach me. I'm, I, and I, I, I bring the homework back and say, did I, did I do it right, coach? Is this, is this what you said? Because if you have something that I want, I realize that success leaves clues. So to every person listening, if you can hear my voice, the smartest thing you can do in 2021 is to hook your caboose to someone else's train. 
and then put on your seatbelt <laughs> and, and do all the action steps. Take your B12, take your D3, take your K2, take your vitamin C, put on your seatbelt and do everything that they say so you can get your version of what you witnessed in their life. I have so many people, Bernardo, telling me, oh my God, Lisa, I love your life. I, you know, show me what to do. I said, if I show you, if I spend my time and my breath and I show you, will you love yourself enough to do it? Mm. So a lot of it is, Bernardo, not necessarily they don't believe that we can get them there. It's you need to begin to believe that you deserve it mm. and that you can do it. I realize that people don't show up not because they question our content. They don't show up because they question if they're going to implement our content. I know I probably just stepped on someone's toes. I love you. I'm doing it like a loving sister would. You have to trust that you'll, you are a good steward of the information and you'll do something with it. That's where it is. I love it. I loved, I poked the dragon and you just gave it to me and gave it to all of them. No, listen, you're absolutely spot on. And, and you know, I love a <laughs> hook the caboots on. Look, the, the thing is, Lisa, at the end of the day, that's it. It's an implementer. I talk about notes, you know, as I've obviously we promoted a lot of courses and you see all these people making those notes. I said, there has to be a nose, ga a notes galaxy out there or a mm -hmm. notes planet. Because there's so many people make notes. Where do these notes go? You right. know, the, the iCloud is somewhere up there. <laughs> <laughs> So I, lo I love about being an implementer. And that's the thing, yeah. an implementer, a doer, someone that actually takes yeah. action. Yeah. And that's the difference I've, that I've become okay with not having all the information. I'm okay with having a little bit and then applying that. And then going to get a little bit more and applying that. Make 2021 about ap application. On my campus, we have a strong accountability community and it's not that, you know, uh, beat you over the head accountability It's to say, if you said, Bernardo, this is your dream, then until you tell me you have another dream, I'm going to hold you accountable that this is your dream. And anytime the tongue in your mouth and the tongue in your shoe are going in two different directions, meaning you say you want it, but you're not doing what you say, I'm going to invite you to align the tongue in your mouth and the tongue in your shoe to go in the same direction. We all want that kind of accountability. I am where I am because someone held me accountable to my dream. And they gave me the option to let the dream go. But as long as I held on to the dream, as long as you have this dream, then it's your job to do the things on a daily basis to make your dream reality. And, and the reason why you wanna do that is because if you don't do daily a little something to get you closer to your dream, two things will happen. One you'll lose hope. And that's the highest price. It's worse than losing money, losing a car, losing a home. You'll lose hope in yourself. And the second price is the highest. You'll stop dreaming and you'll just start existing. That's an inevitable price. So you need to protect your dreams by being in action on a daily basis, a little something every day, not a major 180, but every day a needlepoint moves. So you protect your hope and you protect your right to dream. It's the stakes are so high. It's so beyond money. It's so beyond lifestyle. It's it's the the freedom to keep dreaming and hoping. And the person that's no longer living is the person that no longer has hope. Hmm. I love it. I love it, Lisa. Fantastic. I I could I could speak to you and listen to you all day. Um, what are you working on now? What are, what are your next projects? What 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 are what are you? Uh -huh. What is what is driving you now? What's getting the caboots moving? Uh, I'm so excited because I'm so glad you asked my friends. A lot of the people that you that you uh, you've had on your stage. I'm, I was looking at the, the commercial like, oh, oh, hey, those are all my friends. Mm -hmm. One of the things that my friends have said to me repeatedly over the years is, Lisa, show us how to touch an audience the way you do. And I didn't know how to do that. I didn't know how to do that. And then I thought, oh, it's just techniques. So I started teaching techniques. And someone told me recently, they said, before you do technique, because we want to know your techniques, you have access to a part of your self-esteem, to a part of your soul that you make available to the audience. Bernardo, I, I promise you, they revealed it to me. <laughs> Vision. Vision, JJ Virgin, Jack Canfield, they, they revealed it to me. And so I'm launching this whole series of when my soul speaks. And it's it's the 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 cellular access that you get to have. So I help I help you unblock that. 
and then help your soul come out. And then I teach you the techniques to make it sound stronger, better. And so it's a new path for me. I'm so excited. Literally, you're one of the first people I'm, I'm telling publicly. And when my team hears this, they're going to go, what is she up to now? <laughs> so, it's so fresh, right? It's, it's what I've been thinking of while I'm taking care of my dad and taking care of my grandmother. And so I'm in this whole season of helping people to move them their, their fear out of the way, to move their rigidity out of the way, to move their intellectual journey out of the way so they have a cellular conversation. So I'm not teaching speakers how to become more powerful speakers. I'm teaching communicators how to become more authentic, transparent, and then powerful communicators in whatever platform. And so I'm doing it on multiple platforms. And, and uh, we have su a summit coming up that I'm super excited about. Um, and it's called Next Level Summit. So it's Next Level Summit 2021. If you want to join us, it's free. It's delicious. Um, it, it's just looking at what does my next level look like? What does mine? I'm a unique individual miracle. I, I have a unique fingerprint. No one has my DNA. No one has yours. What's my next level? And I don't want to measure it off of someone else's because comparison will always steal all your joy. The minute you compare yourself to someone else, you've just taken a bit of your joy. What does my next level look like? So at this summit, we're discovering what does our individual next levels look like? And then we're crafting a path to get there. So um, that's what I'm doing. It's called Next Level Summit 2021.com and it's free and it's just my way of helping people navigate through this climate. Wow, amazing. So you've obviously slowed down a lot. I can see. Um, <laughs> Lisa, yeah. well, listen, I, I I love it. We were talking about you just saying this and so I haven't even told my team. I'm the same. I was announcing we're doing a big global uh, event for women. I want to do, uh, we're doing in 2021, 2021, 2022, we're going to be doing a massive global empowering women event which I want to run over five continents and I want to do it in pretty much multiple languages. And, um, but I want to reach hundreds of thousands, millions of people. Yeah. And, 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 um, and, and, and my, my team was saying, what's this? You haven't even told us. I said, I know, I know, I know. I, know. So, I, I love it. I and, love I just it. and I just happen to be a woman. So I just happen to fit that. So, you know, t tell, tell your team, I already know some people who follow. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell them my people to speak to your people. I know, I know some people, right, right. And I'll tell them, I already told them, yes, you got to make it work. <laughs> I, I, I love it. So your speakers, I love, I love, I love what, uh, or your, or how you're going to be teaching. Yeah. Is it going to be live? Is it going to be, is it going to be a hybrid or virtual? It's a hybrid. Live? Yeah. yeah. And what, what I've learned is the, the moment I, so it's a hybrid so that you can have a forever library. Okay. And you can always go back to it because innately, I'm going to help you uncover parts of your soul and your cells that require you to do the personal development. So it's a personal development training that let that leads to train a, a speaker development, but it has to go through the person. So that's not something you can rush. And so I love it. It's a hybrid. It allows you to revisit the journey, revisit the lessons, revisit the call to actions that I'm going to give you because some things are going to be a little harder to do and you may not get them done in the three weeks that I allow you to do them live. And then the part that's live is I come on and I give you context. I give you examples. I use your story and play it back to you with a cellular connection. So one of the most powerful things about the program is that you don't just see me do magic. I'll take your stuff and I'll, I'll show you from your intellectual conversation and I'll take it to a cellular conversation, give it back to you. And you go, oh, that's the difference between good and unforgettable. And that's the whole thing is to go from good to unforgettable. We got a lot of good people out there communicating, but unforgettable, that's another level. And so um, it's going to be a hybrid. It's all online. It's all virtual. Uh, we do it at timelines that that encompass a global community because I have a global community. So we do it at times that allow all of us to play a little early for some in the evening for others, but it's at a time. And, um, and I love it because we pull you into this tribe. And then inside this tribe, we put you in a smaller group that allows you to meet with everyone and get things done. And in that smaller group, you have actionable items that you're holding each other accountable and lifting each other up for. So it's a big group, small group, intimate one-on-one, -on -one, live, virtual. We kind of got this thing down now. So 
so and I've been doing online training for four years now. So this isn't new to me in 2020. We've used this. And so um, and it's a very personal touch for me. It's the first program that I have so much touch in. And probably the last two years, um, I just turned it back up and I jumped back in and said, hold on, I need to hold their hand through this particular journey. So super excited about it. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Well, listen, you might find me in the room. Uh, Lisa, where uh, where can people find out more about this and, and all your upcoming events? Yeah, the first thing that they can do, I recommend, is just go to Motivating the Masses. And if someone can type that in, there you yep. go, motivatingthemasses.com. Yep. Go to Motivating the Masses and um, just jump on my email list because I'm going to send a couple of invites out. The first thing I invite you to do is show up at the summit. The summit is coming up um, in several weeks. Show up at the summit so you could see it. Um, by then, I would have told my team about it. <laughs> so come to the summit, right? Come they're to they're the making summit. notes now. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. They're like, what is she doing? Come to the summit. Go to Motivating the Masses. Come to the summit for free. Jump on board. You'll already you may you may click on speaker if you want, and you'll see a, a, a chance to, to register for a free webinar. Do whatever you need to do to just jump on the email list, and we'll begin to invite you. Show up. Let me know Bernardo sent you. Let me know that that's where you came from. I like to know my community. Um, and then put your seatbelt on. If you choose to hook your caboose to our train, and listen, if you hook it to my train, I need you to hydrate. I need you to vitamin up. I need you to do everything because. I am looking at, and I truly believe that we, the people, we, the people mm. can form a more powerful, amazing, connecting world. We, and I'm that little girl from South Central LA who am, I'm functionally dyslexic. And I don't say that as a victim. I say that as someone who realized she had a learning disability, a learning challenge. That's my superpower now. I teach thoroughly because of my learning challenge. I'm that little, I'm that woman who was on government's assistance. I needed help to feed my son. I'm the woman who was diagnosed as clinically depressed at age 29. I'm that woman. I'm the woman who was over 220 pounds, morbidly obese for 19 years. I'm that woman. And so when I say this is our season to redefine, this is our season to press restart. This is our season to redream. I'm, I don't say it as a teacher. I say it as someone who had to save my own life, rescue my own self and give my own dream a chance. And if that feels good to you, if it feels like you're navigating to something and you want a tribe, Bernardo, your tribe is phenomenal. Our tribe is the same. Then I invite you. I invite you to your next level, whatever your next level looks like, whatever your next level looks like, and to to, to come play with us. Yeah, well, listen, uh, Lisa, I absolutely adore you. You're mm -hmm. amazing. You're a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. I'm so blessed. And thank you so much. Thank you, your team as well. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Lisa, thank you. God bless you. A pleasure, Take brother. Care. All the best.